are watching us on audiomorpheus.com. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, Taz back with Audio Morpheus. We're at the Juke Joint in Anaheim, California with Ex Mortis. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I am so stoked, man. I got I, I got a three mile smile. Just watched you guys play, and I'm gonna tell you it was absolutely epic. Now, never focus on the bad, but you guys played on a postage stamp stage <laughs> and you absolutely you had some technical issues that were no fault of yours, but I gotta tell you, man, we see this all the time and it wrecks bands. You guys played like you were playing in front of 50,000 people. And that was epic, man. Thank you so much. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? I'm Giovanni, I'm the bassist and backup vocals. I'm David, I'm guitar and backup vocals. I'm Conan, lead vocals, guitar. Mario, lead drums. <laughs> lead drums. Now, you guys have a new album dropping, A Slave to the Sword. Tell us about that. It's, it's, it's mind blowing. It's, it's insane. It's, insane. <laughs> it's epic, huh? Well, we recorded it uh, about a year ago uh, with Zach Oren, you know, Castle Ultimate Studios. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was an awesome experience because he he's so easy to work with, you know. And then, um, yeah, so basically, we've been sitting on the album for about a year now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's finally going to be released February 4th. February 4th. The date, if this uh, interview is not out by then. <laughs> it will be out. It will be, be out probably within the next couple days. We want to make sure we get it out. So here's the deal, guys. Um, when it drops, you guys have to be so stoked for the, the absolute tightness of the band right now. This is your third album, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, the, but it's your first album with Prosthetic. Yeah. Okay, so tell us how it's been so far with Prosthetic. Mario, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, how's that been for you? Um, it's been great. Uh, the, the staff and uh, the label itself is just uh, awesome. They've been uh, really focusing on developing the band um, properly. Uh, I feel like in the past we kind of would just go in and record and just release the whole album and just like not give a fuck. I right. mean, um, just ah, let's play, right. let's play, let's rage. Um, and Prosthetic <laughs> has been uh, really helping us kind of um, do it right, you know, put a song out, put a single out, and, and give the album the proper promotion that uh, I think it deserves because we did, we, it's, we've been sitting on it for a year and, uh, you know, we put a lot of time into it. So to just kind of, I, we'd be really bummed if, if, it, if it didn't get as much you know, uh, uh, I guess publicity, sure. you know, um, that the other two albums didn't get yeah, or as yeah, much. You know, I, I don't yeah, know if I'm saying sure. it right. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. But uh, like you said, this is our third album, but our first album on Prosthetic, right. and, and, and Prosthetic, I feel, is uh, I hold them high. You know, yeah, they're, um, they put out so many great bands. They, they have a lot of great bands on the label, so um, everything with them has been, it's just been great. Good experience, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. And, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of respect for Prosthetic as well. Um, you know, one of the things that I, I really wanted to touch on was your your classical influence. I mean, on the new album, I mean, I'm going to sneak peek a little bit uh, for those that, that uh, don't have it yet. Uh, but you pay homage to Beethoven a little bit in there. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about, like, doing, like, a, a cover, like, a classical cover. And, like, we are like, what should we do? And then David brought up the idea, why don't you do that? The last movement of the Moonlight Sonata, and I it was remember, like, <laughs> I remember seeing it. This yeah. fucking like 16-string like bass player play it, mm -hmm. and I was like, what the fuck? Like, how does it? <laughs> it sounds weird. And then like he was like, dude, I'm pretty sure I could play it on guitar, six-string, you know? It's like, because then we would see other people play it on like eight strings, you know, like doing the tapping, and then it's like, right. you know, the way we do it is just like straight, like, like you know, like sweeping, and it's not, you know, it's not really tapping that much. Uh, it's well done, though. Well done. Well, I got. <laughs> life <laughs> it's pretty hard yeah. it's, it's a blast to play though the whole song well you know what it, it the one thing I, I i really again have to say is is watching you guys play i was just i was struck by not only your energy and your absolute you guys seem like you over you you just over practice you guys are so tight it, tell me about your practice routines i mean do, give me an insight on uh, what that we, that's like we try to get at least uh, want to do five days a week like five days of practice at least three hour, four, three to five hours of practice every day if we can we do it three at least three days of the week but at least we're, we're like right we're really tight on it and everything and mm -hmm. make sure that you know we have everything good don't want to mm -hmm. slip or anything if we do we just practice over it again and we just we're like we're yeah, on we the ball like, about it we get like the strings together you know for a little bit and then we rehearse as a whole band like at, right after we got warmed up and, and it's pretty it's pretty uh we feel tighter that way and well, it shows, and that's what uh, that's what I can't wait for you guys to see when you got you, when they come to town. Obviously, you got to see them pick up. Obviously, uh, slave to the sword, but uh, the the band is so tight and and is so epic when they play. They play together. These guys are smiling. Uh, Mario, you on the drums, dude. It's uh, you, you're having so much fun back there, man. How long have you been playing? Um, you know, I lose track. 
Because yeah. uh, when we started the band, uh, me and Kyonan, uh, we were playing guitar. Yeah. So we kept losing uh, drummers, and uh, I was never much of a, a guitar player as far as you know how we're playing now, and shredding and all that. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I had a pretty good sense of, of rhythm. You know, yeah, so uh, we're dancers, dude. They're dancers, man. <laughs> yeah. We're tiny dancers. <laughs> dancers, oh. dancers. So, <laughs> no, so, uh, so, long story short, um, I think it was probably what, like 2004. Dude, yeah, 2004, yeah, five, yeah. Started, yeah. But uh, I, you know, well, you, going back to the routine of right. practicing, um, a lot of the times we just plug in, and we we don't we don't look at it as practice. Okay. We we we, what you see on stage is pretty much how we, how we act in the garage, like. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think that helps. Mm -hmm. Kind of, uh, we're not practicing, and then to play the show, we're practicing the show. Sure. Yeah. You know, so I think that's I think the key tools of the trade. Mm -hmm. um, you you got to practice the show, right. not practice the songs and then play the show. You know, because what a, what a concept, really. I mean, think about that. Back that's show. Yeah. Back show, dude. Yeah. that's brilliant, dude. Well, you know what, too, and with the bass, I have to say, it's present. It's very present. <laughs> Thank you for that. Man, so many bands, you know, the bass player's over there, and he's kind of just they're there. Back, they're, they're not really yeah, similar. exactly. Like, not, that's not even it. Like, like, it's like, dude, it's like, you go out there and just like, like, like kick ass. Like, come on, like, right. it's like, rock it. yeah, rock, rock it, rock, rock it, everything. It. It's like, come on, your idols are out there. Like, they're, your idols are freaking <laughs> shredding on stage too like that. And it's like, yeah. I want to do that. It's like, I want to be in the bag just like all simple and everything. And it's like, right. I want to go out there and show that I can, I can rock hard too. Wants just to like, be a geezer. Yeah. Wants to be a geezer butler. <laughs> yeah, every instrument should have its own, you know, it should have its own prominence here and there. And, you know, I think we have some like disco-like bass lines and I, honestly, I think it fucking sounds <laughs> Thanks great. to Bob Daisley. Yeah. Bob Daisley influence. Yeah, from, right. yeah. from Rainbow also, he played on Rainbow with Rainbow. Yngwie Malmsteen, you know. Absolutely. I Aussie. noticed, I noticed the, a lot of influences. Again, Ingve. Um, I, I mean, y you know, but none of it is a ripoff. Everything seems absolutely yours. You guys own it, and uh, we couldn't be happier to be out here promoting you guys. Thank you so much for putting on a killer show for us, man. Uh, is there anything you guys want to tell the fans that are about to get exposed to Slave to the Sword? Anything you guys want to tell them? We got a uh, oh yeah, shred on. Shred on. We got a tour with Dark Tranquility coming up. Also a towards Lich King. And, uh, and uh, Destruction and toward, Christian. Yeah, toward yeah. Destruction Christian. After. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So we got some yeah. shit lined up. <laughs> Get ready to be a slave to the sword when it comes the album comes out? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. man. Hey, thank you again so much. Thank slave you. to the sword drops when? February 4th. February 4th. February 4th. Get out and get it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Ex Mortis on the spot here at Juke Joint. NAM 2014. We've been there all day, and what a way to end the night. Thank you so much, guys. For uh, Dino behind the camera, my partner, my invisible partner. He's doing the thing back behind the camera. Thank you so much. And to uh, shout out to Kelly Walsh with Prosthetic. Yeah, Kelly. Uh, Kelly. Yeah. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Hooked us up. She couldn't be here tonight. Um, she had some other things she had to do, and uh, but I'm sure she wished she could have been here yeah. because you guys killed it. Thank you so much. You know, These guys you fucking know. kicked some serious ass. Oh, you know. Serious. <laughs> right on, man. Right on. Hey, for AudioMorpheus.com, guys, get out and get to the show. Until then, we'll see you out. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>